Hi guys, I just wanted to share, I have a couple of hauls, one from Ollie's, and I don't know if you, you may not know what Ollie's is, it's a bargain outlet, and I found out, I mean, I used to shop there so much, and like when I tell you in my hauler videos and stuff that I only buy what I like, I had a real problem shopping at Ollie's, okay, because there's just so many great things there, and it's like, oh, I gotta get, and I, I'm, so much better. I do not do that. I used to also sell a lot of things too on eBay at that time and I'm talking about 10, 12 years ago maybe. Maybe even more than that. Yeah, I think it was even more than that. But then I ended up just giving like so much of my stock away when I having two more kids <laughs> and then seeing that I didn't want all that back in my house. So I'm very particular about, even when I go to bargain stores, what I get. But my husband can't, well he says he can't stand those stores and then um, he calls them junk stores. He goes in and then he's like buying tarps that, oh well, we need these and um, these gloves and the kids had to have these gloves. And I'm like okay, but he's complaining the whole way and I'm thinking like why did I bring him? But I will show you what I did get from there, some good deals, and I did see a lot of things that I see on Holler on there. And it's funny because the, one of the things I told you about those frog bins, I didn't even think of it till now really, I just thought that was a fluky thing. I had bought them first, I had bought the frog and the monkeys in Ollie's, and then only the frog was available on Holler. But today I saw a lot of the things that were on Holler, and I'll show you more about that because there's a couple things I bought that Holler had sold out of and they forgot my order and so that was good. But I just want to show you a quick little TJ. I stopped at TJ Maxx. Just got a couple of things and just want to show you that. I also want to ask you, <laughs> I did take some video of my trip to Ollie's but I'll tell you I am so self-conscious with having the GoPro out. I feel like everyone is staring at me it's not something you normally see here and it just feels so awkward and it feels like any minute they're going to be like stop what are you doing you know because especially bargain stores can get really upset with stuff like that they can because they could feel that you're trying to like find out what they have or i, I don't even understand but yes i've even had blogger and on an assignment for a shop opportunity with sofab i had family dollar that was pretty told me they didn't want me taking pictures and this was a company that had signed with SoFab to do this and they were like you must give me all your pictures before you leave I'm like what you know it was it was crazy so I'm really self-conscious of that and so I had the GoPro and here's my problem I had the GoPro in a case like on a stick thing and then the sound wasn't coming out really clear at all so I don't know what you guys are doing when you're doing your you know take me along on the shopping trip what kind of camera you're using I have a number of different cameras but it seems like none of them and I mean I have all these attachments for the GoPro now I just saw too I have this special backpack thing coming it's like us I'll show it to you but someone I know puts it over one shoulder and then the GoPro with this attachment clips like right on there and it's not as obvious and it works well because you can walk and not have to hold it or have it attached to your chest or something. But I I don't know. I mean, and then I have a, I have a Canon Vixia. I have, of course, my um, Canon 60D. I, but I, I just don't know what you're using. Everything feels so awkward and the whole thing feels so awkward. And then my volume didn't come out good. Yeah, I'm just griping and complaining. And my husband was driving me crazy. And the kids always start fighting when you... Um, <laughs> have it out yeah it's just it's a lot of fun okay so I'm going to show you what I got Oops, at TJ Maxx I only got a couple of things at TJ Maxx I got some cute things at Ollie's and I'll show that to you tomorrow Hopefully they're still in the car we got home kind of late and this is tea of life and I tried this tonight and this is delicious this is vanilla coconut there are 50 tea bags and I love it that it's a tin because when I do get my kitchen finally 
I'm going to have my tea cabinet with my tins and everything in there. So it has 50 bags in it. It was $3.99 and it is delicious. Okay. And the other tea I got was this again in the tin, but it's not at the same company. I thought it was because the tins were so similar. This is an organic pomegranate green tea and it's Let's see here. U.S. organic. It's no artificial colors or flavors. And I know somewhere along the line here it says no G GMO. Yeah. So I haven't tried this one yet. I'm going to try it tomorrow. But it sounds good. And then... I love Snoopy and Peanuts, and I saw this um, notepad, and they had journals too. But like I said, I'm just trying to get and This is, says, write it down. Write it down, and it's, for me as a blogger and a writer, I just liked it. And I love Snoopy, so it just all fit. It's got a lot of sheets in there. And this was only $2.99. So I got that. And then to make notes for my husband and have him make notes on what he's going to do today, Mr. ADD, I got this, which is today. Um, and this was $2.99, and it is magnetic, too, if you wanted to do that. But that's what I got from TJ Maxx. And you see, I'm very selective. I mean, there's a lot of things I could have. What is really driving me nuts is I cannot find, and my husband thinks I'm insane, blue towels in the shade of blue that I need them and I can't find them online. I can't find them in the stores. I don't know what I'm going to do. He thinks I'm totally bonkers, but I can't find them. And I have to find them. And I will show you our paint colors. And we are so crazy. We picked our paint colors in like five minutes just out of sheer desperation at the Home Depot. We brought in our piece of quartz. We brought in the little piece from our cabinets. I don't even know what we did. I really don't know. I don't know. I mean, for the kitchen, for the family room, for the living room, for the dining room. And I did the bathroom the other day downstairs. I got that. I don't even know. But um, we'll see. If it looks good, hey. We did it in five minutes. If it doesn't look good, hey, we did it in five minutes. We picked it in five minutes. Anyway, to purchase, it's done. So as soon as the contractors finish the sheetrock, they could start on the painting. Then they could put down the tile floors. And then we can install the kitchen, which should be um, received by our kitchen showroom from Wood Mode this week. So we're excited about that. And I am so excited to have a kitchen bag, even though I know it's still going to be a long haul from here because they have to install the bottom cabinets and they can, they can install the uppers on some parts of the kitchen, but they cannot install the uppers where we have the garage because that has a special door. It's a solid piece. It's not one of those accordion ones, but it, goes up and you can't have that on because there's no counter so then once they get that done then the quartz company is going to template for the quartz and that could take a week remember the last time I got quartz it seemed like it was so much quicker but I, it was a different process and then after the quartz comes of course then they can put in the cooktop and the sink and all of that good stuff but until then mm -mm. What can you do? We're doing, you know, things as fast as we can with these contractors. So that's it. But I will show you some more from Ollie's and stuff tomorrow. Sorry for the rant. I just, uh, you know, hormonally right now, um, without going into too much detail, yeah, I, it's probably um, not a good time for me to uh, rant, but I couldn't help it.
could not help it. So I will show you more tomorrow and I'll try to show you the paint colors we've picked and everything. They're so late at the Home Depot that I can't even believe they mixed the paint for us because like the store was closed. One guy was getting it out so quickly. He didn't even paint the little top. You know how they paint it with the little color. One guy didn't even paint that and the other guy did. So uh, I'm going to look. I brought home a bunch of brochures, but I think I actually gave like the big chips that I picked them out of to the one guy who didn't give them back to me. So anyway, okay. So I will hopefully update tomorrow writing for I write for another site too full-time <laughs> well I shouldn't say full-time it's you know I can do work whenever I want for that but it I mean a lot of people would consider the amount of writing I do for that site a full-time job but silly me does like 19 other things as well besides my own blog my own YouTube channels um, health and wellness company that I'm a marketing director for, other social media influencer things that I do as well too. What can I tell you? It's like my friend said, she's like, you would not be you if you were not so, if your schedule wasn't so full. You love it. You thrive on it. You know, maybe I do. Maybe I do. But anyway, guys, I will. It's so late now. I'm going to go to bed and hopefully get this to you tomorrow show you what I got at Ollie's because I did get some nice things and oh I do have a holler haul too that I have to get to I didn't open the box I don't know what's in that one we'll see all right talk to you tomorrow guys thanks for watching and any of you with um thoughts on the cameras and things I would love it and please subscribe and like if you like this stick around follow us we'd love your interaction as well. Thanks so much, guys.